Hi everyone. First of all, thanks for taking the time to watch this screen recording and instructional video. I hope it provides value and helps save some time for those of you that currently self-manage your AdWords PPC campaigns. So as the title suggests, today we're going to be looking at how to create and set up a remarketing campaign in the new Google AdWords user interface. So that's start to finish. So we'll be looking at setting up the remarketing tag, creating audience lists, setting up a campaign and finally implementing responsive display ads. Now, by the nature of you watching, most of you will already know all about remarketing, but for the few that don't, in short, remarketing is an advanced marketing strategy that allows you to re-engage past website visitors who are passively browsing websites, apps, news sites, and forums within the Google Display Network. Okay, so we're gonna jump into it now. I'm just using my own AdWords account here as a dummy account. Um, so first things first, if you, find the wrench icon in the top right of the screen we're going to select that and towards the left there under the shared library header we're going to select audience manager now on the left menu we're going to select the third option audience sources and now this screen might look slightly different for you you might have your analytics panel on the right here instead and an adwords panel replacing it on the left now from that AdWords panel, on the bottom right, you should see a link that says Setup Tag. If you go ahead and select that, you should arrive at a screen that mirrors mine here. Now from here, we're gonna select the first option, collect standard data available from this data source. That's gonna be applicable to most people, um, but if you are a retail business, for example, you might wanna select the second option here collect specific attributes or parameters to personalize ads. What that's going to enable you to do is to dynamically retarget specific products back to a user based on the products that they viewed on your website or potentially added to a cart. But like I said, for most, the first option here is the most relevant. Save and continue. And here you'll find your remarketing tag and instructions to implement that on your website. Now, if you're working with a web developer, you can email the tag and instructions directly to them from this, this area. You'll see down here, email instructions. There's a feature there where you can just add an email address and a, a custom note and it'll fire off the code and the instructions. Alternatively, you can just copy and paste this code into a document and forward that to your developer. And finally, if you're using Google Tag Manager, you'll wanna find the conversion ID of this piece of code which you'll find is this number here. So when you're setting up your Google Tag Manager code and container and tag, you'll need to put that conversion ID in there and then you'll be good to go. So continue. And on this finish screen, we'll just click done. So now we're gonna look at lists. So from the left menu again, we're gonna to go to the first option this time, audience lists. So from the previous stage, um, AdWords have got, has gone ahead and created an automatic list based on all website visitors, which you'll find here. That's already populating with users, which is good. Um, for this instructional video, we're just gonna to strip it back to the most basic AdWords strategy. So we're just gonna use this automated list. If, however, you wanted to set up custom lists based on website URLs, you can do that from this screen also. Um, you can do that by selecting the, the blue button here and probably the most relevant will be website visitors section here. You can also set up lists for app users or YouTube video uh, remarketing lists here or customer lists which are based on email addresses. But for most, like I said, website visitors will be the most relevant. So now we have our, we have our tag which should be implemented on the site. We have our core ad, AdWords list here. And now we just need to set up the campaign and ad group and add. So using the back button here, we're gonna go back to the main user interface and the campaign section. And we're gonna select the, the blue button, new campaign. Campaign type, we're gonna have some options here, but we're gonna select display network. Again, we're gonna get some options based on the goals of the campaign. I'm gonna select website traffic. 
which brings up some more options. So campaign subtype, we're going to leave that as standard display campaign. And then we're just going to be prompted to add our domain, which I'm going to do that. Okay. Now, campaign name, straightforward. I'm just going to call that remarketing. Locations, we're going to leave that as a default, United Kingdom. And again, the language will remain default English. The bidding, I'm going to actually untick enable enhance CPC here. I'd rather take full control of my bidding and, and uh, costing, so I'm going to untick that and leave as manual CPC. Each campaign needs a daily budget, so we're going to input that here. I'm just going to use a nominal fee of £5 a day. Delivery method, we're going to leave as standard, so that's going to split our budget evenly throughout the day. I'm going to jump into additional settings here, because there's a couple that I'm going to toggle while the, re while the rest remain default. So add rotation, that remains default. I'm going to leave that to show the best performing ad more often. Add schedule, again, we're going to leave that. 24-7. No end date. Devices, we want to show on all devices. So that's desktop, tablet, and mobile. Um, one we are going to change is frequency capping. At the minute, it's set to no limit. We're going to change that here to four impressions per day per ad group. So each user will receive a maximum of four impressions of an ad per day. So we don't want to over spam people with these ads. So four has worked well for me in the past, so I'm going to, I'm going to change that to four. Location options, again, that's going to remain standard. And also the rest. So just frequency capping we've changed in there. So now we're prompted to create our ad group within our campaign. So the ad group name is going to be the name of the audience list. So I'm going to name that. All website visitors. Now we're prompted to choose our audience. So we're going to jump into remarketing here and then into website visitors. And here it is, here's our auto generated list, all visitors AdWords. So we're going to select that. Demographics, we're going to leave that as standard. Uh, not overly important for remarketing because we're we're remarketing based on a previous website visitor, so all demographics are going to be important to us. Next, automated targeting. Again, I'm going to change this to no automation. I'd rather take full control of what I'd like to target. Now we're going to set an ad group bid. I'm going to set that at £2. You can choose whatever is applicable to your costings. Dynam dynamic ads, again, we touched on that earlier. Um, we're not going to use that. I'm not a retail client, so I'm going to leave that blank. And now, ad groups created, we're just going to create the ad that sits within the ad group. So, the blue button here, new ad, and new responsive ad. That's going to open up the content fields and a preview screen of the ad we're about to create. So I'm just going to go through this stage by stage. The first stage is to add images. So the plus button there. Now this tool is going to automatically scan the domain and pick out some images from the website and also offer some stock imagery here that you could also use, which are quite nice actually. I'm going to use my own um, and I'm going to upload my own. So I'm going to choose my file from a folder. And I'm going to use um, this desk image here. So there it is. I'm just going to use as image. And now I'm just going to have to jig it around a little bit just to comply with the, the sizing requirements. So I think that looks OK there. And then the square crop. Um, I'm going to make sure the laptop's all covered there. That looks okay. So continue. 
Now what you can also do is add a logo to the image, which I'm definitely going to do. So add another image. I've got my logo here. And that's a one by one crop. So that's all scaled correctly already. I'm going to continue and I'm going to save. So you can see on the preview screen on the right here, it's already started to populate the ad for me in various formats. So now it's a case of choosing the text content for the ad. I've already created some text ads um, in my search campaign, so I'm going to go ahead and use those. Uh, which one? So I'm going to use this one here. So headline is my brand name, Tom Holder Pay Per Click. There's an option of a longer headline, which I'm going to use. So I'm going to use again my brand name and also the headline 2 of my text ad, Certified PPC Professional. You can see I've got a few characters to spare here. I've got a 90 limit and I've only used 53, so I'm going to add a little bit more. Um, I'm now a Google partner, so I'm just going to add that to my headline too. 70 out of 90, I think that's okay. Now we need to add a description. So I'm going to choose the description from this ad. Helping businesses thrive online, flexible and valuable PPC services, contact me. Again, we've got a few characters to spare, so I'm just going to write um, some add to this. Contact me today. Uh, we're going to input my business name, and then my brand name. And the URL is auto-populated there. Now we're going to add that ad to the ad group. And if you wanted to have a quick look what it looks like, you can have a look at the preview here. Uh, all different formats, so you can see where the short headline is used compared to the long headline and how the images are used uh, based on the landscape or the, the square crop. There we go, they look quite nice. So I'm going to add that to the ad group now. Which is that one there. And then Finally, I'm going to create the campaign. There's a summary, and then we're going to continue to campaign. Now, if you go back to your main screen in the campaign section, there you'll see your campaigns listed remarketing campaign, £5 per day. So that is all ready to go. So that's, that's the full tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, I'll do my best to get back to everyone. And I'm also going to look at doing another instructional video with the, with the advanced strategy for remarketing. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Thanks.